Okay, well, we're back with a project that you can do with a no special supplies. You just need some things you can find. You need some glue. You need a square of cardboard, something stiff, heavy like that. But it's all about mosaics because this project is called Mosaics from Found Objects. So meaning we just found things around the house. And I've got some little toys here and some seashells. We'll look at those in a minute. But let's talk about that word mosaic. A lot of people think they know what it means, but if I were to give you an, a definition of what a mosaic is, it's usually a large design made from a lot of small things. The design could repeat or it could be just, uh, you know, just kind of hodgepodgey, which is what we're going to do today. But the important thing is that it's something big and it's going to be this big made from a bunch of little things like this. They could be perfect squares. Matter of fact, we might even have a couple perfect squares here, but whatever. But it makes a whole total design. So let's talk about where mosaics came from. And they were really invented by the ancient Greeks. And we're talking about 2,500 years ago, which is pretty amazing. Long time. But the great thing about mosaics, they seem to have lasted. So then the ancient Romans came along and took over Greece. And they took mosaics throughout their whole empire. And at that time, maybe 2,000 years ago, roughly at the time of Jesus, um, the Roman Empire was the most powerful empire. So it wasn't just a kingdom. It didn't have a king. It had an emperor. He was on t above in importance. He was above all the kings that were in that empire. And it stretched all the way from England. Take a look at a map sometime. All the way from England to the west to the Caspian Sea in the east. And then south all the way down to North Africa, so crossing the Mediterranean Sea. So the Romans controlled that whole world and they took mosaics everywhere with them. So we're going to look at a first slide right here. And um, if it's doing some funny things to your eyes, slide number one, it's because it was really designed to. Now it seems uh, when I look at this slide sometimes, this picture, it almost seems like things are moving, but this has not moved in 2,000 years. So we've got those shapes, all those triangles going kind of in a circle sort of thing. And matter of fact, when I look at this sometimes, I see a flower opening or I see all sorts of things moving around like that. Take a look and I think you'll see what I'm talking about. But in the very middle, that person, some people think it's a guy, but guess what? Uh, -uh. Maybe you've heard of someone called Medusa. Medusa never lived. Medusa was a myth. A myth is one of those stories that's kind of cool, but no, didn't really happen. But Medusa had three qualities about her that you wouldn't want to get to know well. Number one, you looked into her eyes, you would turn to stone. Number two, her hair, poisonous snakes wriggling around. And number three, she actually had the the, the back end of a scorpion and scorpions sting with their tails. And so, nope, you don't, wouldn't want to mess with Medusa. And can you see that the artist in this mosaic does not have Medusa looking right at you? No Roman artist would have ever have done that. Okay, so let's go ahead in time a little bit to the late Roman Empire and the early Byzantine Empire. And here's the emperor and his wife. This is slide number two. And the emperor and his wife, Emperor Justinian, and Empress, what was her name, Theodora. The interesting thing about this is, do you see some gold color in this? Well, guess what? Real gold. Not on the surface. They took clear glass tiles and they fused gold to the backside of those tiles. So the backside's in the cement that's on a wall. This is actually in a big church someplace. And... Um, and so the cement actually has protected the gold, and the gold still looks shiny. It hasn't tarnished at all. Okay, next, what can you make mosaics out of? This is a whole mosaic made just from pebbles. And you could do that on the ground, and I've seen people do that. And uh, you could do it on a wall. And matter of fact, you can do some interesting things just by buying 
pebbles at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's and uh, create a mosaic from those. And then slide number four. Ah, this is interesting because there was an artist in Spain about 100 years ago. His name was Gaudí. And he took colored tiles and hit them with a hammer to make all those odd shapes. And then they put them back together again, but not where they were originally. And you got um, what are called broken tile mosaics. And you see them all throughout Barcelona, Spain, because that's where he came from. You also see them in New York City if you go to certain parks. And then, ah, here's a bench that I did at a school not too far from here in North Ridgeville, Wilcox School. And it's a bench that's covered with broken tile mosaic on the top. And we did five of these, each one for the five Chinese elements, and one of which is earth. And um, on this slide, you can see mountains in the back, and then hills kind of halfway towards you, and then a valley in the front. And, uh, and it's a bench that people use. It's right out in front of the school, and people sit on it when they're waiting to get picked up or whatever. And then let's look at some mosaics from found objects. We've got a couple here. Slides number six, whoops, number seven and number eight. And we'll just go through those. Now, the first ones were made by professionals. And then the rest of the slides, and we can look at them one by one, were made by kids like you from things that they happen to have found. And you see some hands in some of these slides. And um, they're, I, I took those pictures right when kids like you were actually putting these mosaics together. And so we have a total actually of 14 different pictures that really give you an idea of what mosaics are all about. So let's start with our project. And just two things you got to do. Number one, get something that's stiff. Could be a piece of cardboard like this. Could be a piece of um, uh, foam core like this. And, um, and these just happen to be cut about six inches square. It's a nice size. And then I just dug around my studio and around my house. And I found a whole bunch of cool things that we're going to be able to use. And take a look at what they are. Some of them are those foam stickers. Like this, like that. Oh, soccer ball, my favorite sport. Oh, look what we got seashells. The amazing thing about seashells is the creatures who lived inside these shells, they, they had no eyes. They didn't know how beautiful their shells were, what we do. And then let's see what else we've got. Oh, a little bit of a clay tile right here, right there. Um, speaking of broken tile, one there. Mm. Lego pieces are great. Got a few pennies here. Ooh, here's a flat marble. I don't know if you've ever seen these. You can get these at Michael's, but they have those flat marbles. Ooh, puzzle piece right there. And um, yeah, some other things like it. Oh, more of those flat marbles actually right there. Okay, so let's start to make it. And you know, I think the thing to do is to lay things out first like this. and come up with a design that you really like. You don't have to use everything. It's all the way up to you, but I'm just going to try to arrange. They should come close, but they don't have to touch. Mm. There's the Lego piece right there. Ah, speaking of sports, another popular sport, football. Maybe you're right up in that corner. I'm just playing with it, just having a good time. Hmm, one of those marbles, that looks like it might fit there. Oh, and this one is kind of cut in half. Let's just see if we, I'm just enjoying myself. I've never done this exact design before. I may never do it again. Let's see, we've got some puzzle pieces here. Hmm, a little glass tile. What else? Yeah, so I'm just going to arrange it the way that looks good. Maybe this other seashell, or maybe this bigger one here. No, let's use the little one. So I'm just having fun. 
there's no right way of doing this. Oh, speaking of sports, looks like a volleyball maybe. Let's put that on. Maybe our theme for this project is sports. Sort of looking like it. You know, projects sometimes will have themes. Uh, a small blue star. Maybe one more of these tiles, this time in a kind of a peachy color. And then the next thing that you do, and you can just use Elmer's glue, like this, okay? Or a glue stick, like this, and start to stick things down. And I'm just going to start at one end, use a lot of glue, but okay, ready for the tricky part? Once you get it stuck down, don't move it for about a half hour, or else you'll break the sticky part of the glue, speaking of sticky, all over my fingers. Okay, I have to be careful about that, or else my fingers will become part of our mosaic. Okay, I'm going to press that down gently, and then we'll just keep going. Doing this project makes me feel a little bit like that guy on television who does the paintings and talks about happy little trees and bushes and things like that. And we're not trying to make anything happy. We're just trying to have some fun with color and shapes and what goes well with something else. That's all we have to do. Okay, now I won't be able to lift this up at the end of this because remember we can't break the bond of the glue. And just using Elmer's school glue is fine. Elmer's real glue is good. The glue stick is good. Okay. This is going to be the hard one to stick down, I think. We're going to have to really get the glue around the edge of our seashell to make sure it really does stick. Because there's not much. And when you're collecting pieces for this project, you know what you should do? Just look for things that have at least one flat side. That's the secret. So a real round marble, now that would not work, it would just roll off. But these flat marbles do work. You know, open up a drawer in the kitchen. I knew in my, my house I have a drawer with a lot of little stuff that I didn't want to throw away. Oh, you know what else I have here that I forgot to use? I went to the hardware store a while ago and got a, what are called washers. And they're just these round flat things. Matter of fact, here's an old one. Look at that. All rusty. We're not going to use that, but this one would work. Let's find a place for that too. Okay. So I like the idea of having some metal in here too. We have glass. We have seashells. We have some ceramic. Okay, let's keep going. You can see I started at one end just to make sure that I stuck everything down because once it's stuck down we don't want to play with it. Okay, a little seashell. Now, unfortunately, I know a lot of you guys live very close to Lake Erie. Lake Erie is not known for good shells. Sometimes some clam shells, sometimes some scallop shells, not much else. Too bad. If you live near the ocean, though, that's another story. It's fun to go down to the beach and collect seashells. And so if you're on a vacation somewhere, or if you're visiting family, maybe down in Puerto Rico, somewhere where there's really great beaches, or down in Florida. Even New York City has great beaches. Okay, so I'm just having fun here. And my fingers <laughs> are starting to get sticky. Okay, nope, this needs more glue. But remember, you know, we didn't use, ah, well, there goes one. See how sticky my fingers are now? 
So we lost one thing, but you know one thing we forgot to do? You know, I'm going to stick this down with my little finger now because there's no glue on my little finger. We forgot to use these pennies. These are just, well, matter of fact, this is an old one. I don't think it's worth anything more than a penny. Okay, but I'll use my little finger to stick things down now. Okay, now we're coming near the end. Ooh, that's stuck. Oh, that's already stuck down. Okay, good. So this glue is really working, which is great. Coming near the end. Sometimes you might have to wash your hands in the middle of a project like this. Okay, so let me try my second a little finger. Ah, this is funny. Okay, actually, you know what? I'll do it this. Okay, that is going to work. Great. Okay, and uh, what do you think? Oh, you know, we haven't used a Lego yet. We definitely want to use it. It might work better if we tilt it on its side because then we have a nice flat edge here. Okay, press that down. We have a little bit of space here. Maybe another Lego. This one on its back, the way it's supposed to be. And then I think we're coming pretty close to being done. So, what I said was, and don't forget, once you have them all glued, then just let them sit for 15 minutes, half hour before you pick it up. And then you can, you know, lean it like that and enjoy. Let's see if we can just tilt it a little bit. Okay, there we go. You can see our designs. So start collecting. Find yourself a square of cardboard and some glue. Put it together first and then glue it down. Okay, great. Thanks so much. This has been a production of Lorraine City Schools, TV20, WLCS.